Imagine this, you are applying for a job, reaching out to a client or showcasing your skills online. What's the first thing your client will do? They Google you. And if they don't find anything impressive, you might lose the opportunity. That's why a portfolio website changes everything. A portfolio website isn't just a digital resume, it's your online identity. So instead of relying on outdated resumes or scattered social media profiles, having a professional portfolio website is much better to showcase your skills, projects and achievements all in one place is the best thing that you can do. And the best part, you don't need any coding skills or expensive tools to create one. In this video, I'll show you the step-by-step -step method on how to build a stunning portfolio website easily. I'm Brian from Website Learners and let's get started. To create a portfolio website, we are going to do four steps. The first step is to create an account on Lovable. Lovable is a great tool using which you can create any type of website you want without learning any coding. And we are going to use this tool to create our portfolio website. So to create an account, just click the link below this video and it'll take you to this page. Now click sign in, then sign in with your Google account. Okay, once you've created your account, you can now start building your portfolio website. To do that, here you need to enter a detailed prompt about how your website should look like and what content it should include. But if you need any help with writing the prompt, you can use ChatGPT. So let's go to the next step where we will use ChatGPT to get the prompt. Before ChatGPT can generate the prompt, it needs some basic details about your website. To make it easier, I've created a ready to use prompt for you. So just click the link below this video and it'll take you to this document. This is the prompt that I have created. Now just copy the prompt. Then go to ChatGPT, paste it here and click send. Now ChatGPT will act as an AI assistant and ask you a few simple questions about your website like your name, bio and skills. So just answer them one by one. And once you're done, based on your responses, ChatGPT will generate a detailed prompt for your portfolio including what pages to create and what content needs to be added. Once you get the prompt, just copy it. Then go back to Lovable and paste it here. Next, if you already have a sample website design, you can just upload it here and then Lovable will use it as a reference to create similar site with similar colors and font. But if you don't have one, no worries. There are a few online platforms like Dribbble and Behance where you can find plenty of design ideas to choose from. Let me show you how to do that. Let's go to Dribbble and search for personal portfolio. As you can see, we've got a variety of web designs to choose from. I like this one, so let's click on it. And here you can see the preview of the website design. Just right click on the design and copy it. Then go back to Lovable and paste it here. Now just tell Lovable to use this image as an example while creating the portfolio website and click here. And as you can see, it has started creating your website and just like that, the home page is ready. But it looks pretty basic, right? So let's make it better. Instead of manually customizing your website, you can simply chat with Lovable and describe exactly how you want your website to look. I'm going to ask Lovable to enhance the hero section with a modern UI. And there you go. Now the hero section looks much better. Okay. Here you can see that we just have the homepage of our portfolio website. Now to generate the other sections of our website, just type continue with other sections. Now as you can see, it has generated the remaining sections of our portfolio website. In the same way, you can ask Lovable to customize your website. Let's go to the third step where we'll see how to customize the website. First, let's see how you can add an image to your site. So I'm going to add my profile photo here. And keep in mind, sometimes when you upload an image directly to Lovable, it may not display correctly or it might show an error. To avoid this, the best way to upload an image is to get the link for the image. So to get the link for your image, just click the link in the description and it'll take you to this website called Post Image. Now click here and upload your image. Once it is uploaded, you can see that it has created the link to the image. Just click here to copy it then go back to Lovable and paste it here. 
then just tell Lovable to add this picture to the hero section in the circular area. And that's it. We have our profile picture on the home page. In the same way, you can add any image to your website. Okay, once you've added the images, next, let's edit the content of our website. Say you want to edit this text. Click edit and click on the text. Then enter your text here. And it'll be changed instantly. Now click on save. In the same way, you can also edit the other text on your website. Okay, so now we've successfully customized the website and if we scroll down, here you'll see the contact form where the visitors can reach out for our services. Now let's see how it works when someone tries to contact us. Say a visitor fills out this form and sends a message. You can see the contact form is not working. But don't worry, we can fix this in just a few steps and the best part, we don't have to do it manually. With the help of Lovable, we can get the contact form to work perfectly. Before we do that, we need to enable the chat mode option on Lovable. Only then we can communicate with Lovable and fix the contact form. So let's see how to do that. To enable the chat mode, just click on this Lovable icon. Then go to settings, right click on it and open the link in the new tab. Then again go to account settings and enable this chat mode option. Once you have done that, let's go back to this page and refresh it. Then go here, click on the default button and then choose the chat only option. And there you go, the chat mode is now enabled. Next, let's ask Lovable to help us fix the contact form. I'm going to ask Lovable to suggest some free tools to fix our contact form. And here we go. Lovable has given us four different methods and out of these four suggestions, Lovable has told us to use the email JS method as it provides a simple and an effective way to handle the contact form. Also, it has given us a step-by-step -step instruction to integrate email JS with our website. To integrate email JS with our website, we are going to do three steps. The first step is to create an account on email JS. So to do that, just click the link below this video and it'll take you to this website. Now click on create a free account, then enter these details, click sign up and your account will be created. Once you have created an account on email JS, the next step is to create an email service. So this allows us to connect with our Google account so that we can receive messages directly to our inbox. So to create an email service, just click add new service, then select Gmail, click connect account, then select your Google account, click continue, then click on this checkbox to give email JS access to your Google account and click continue. Now click create service and that's it. We have successfully created the email service. Once you have done that, we can go to the final step, which is to create an email template. So this is where we can decide how our customer messages should appear when they contact us. I'll keep it simple. I just want to see the customer's name first, followed by the email and message. So to create an email template like this, just go to email template and click create a new template. Now here you can see the full default template that you can customize. So just click edit, then click design editor. Now here you can edit the template. I am going to remove the sample template. Then enter the same text that I have given in this template. Once you're done, click apply changes. And click save. And that's it. We have created the email template. Now to integrate email JS with our website, we need to get these details. First we'll get the public key. So just go to your account. And here you can see we have the public key. Just copy it and paste it into the notepad. Next, let's get the template ID. Just go to template ID, click on this default template, then go to settings, and here you can see the template ID. Just copy and paste it into the notepad. Finally, we will get the service ID. Just go to email service and click on it. Now here you can see the service ID. Again copy and paste it into the notepad. Okay, so we have got the details. Now to connect email JS to our website, just close this, then go to Lovable, copy and paste the details here,
and then ask Lovable to integrate the email JS with our contact form. It will create a structure and ask us whether to implement this structure in the contact form. If we click on implement plan, within a few seconds our contact form will be fixed. So let's test it. I'll enter some details, type a message and click send message. And there you go, the contact form has been submitted successfully. And now we should receive this message directly into our inbox. So let's check that. You can see that we have got the email. So if we open it, you can see we have got the message here, which means our contact form is working perfectly. Okay, so now we have completed creating our portfolio website. And next, let's go to the final step of the video, which is to publish our portfolio website. To publish the website, first give a name to your website project. So just click here and click on rename project. Then give a name you want and click rename. Once you're done, click publish and your portfolio website will be live on the internet. Also, here you'll get the link to your site. If we click on it, you can see the portfolio website that we just created. All right, now with the free version of Lowable, you will get five tokens per day, which you can use to customize your website. But if you need to customize it even more, then you can check out their paid plans right here. Also, while customizing your website, sometimes you might see an error like this, but don't worry, you can just tell Lovable to fix it and it'll be fixed. That's it. Okay, so now we have successfully created our portfolio website using AI. But if you look at the domain, you'll see it comes with a subdomain which is not easy to read or remember. Instead of this domain name, what if you want to have a custom domain name like this, which looks more professional? So let's go to the bonus part of this video where we'll see how you can get a custom domain name for our website. So to get a custom domain name, just click the link in the description and it'll take you to this page where you can find the domain name you want. So here, enter the name you want for your website. I'm going to enter brandwork.online. You can choose any extension like .com, .net or .online. Most people go with .com because it's been the standard for a long period of time. But if you want something unique that stands out, .online is a great option too. Click on check availability. And as you can see, our domain is available. Now to get this domain name, just click get domain and it'll take you to this website called Hostinger where you can purchase your domain name. Just enter the domain name you want, click search and you can see we are getting a domain name for just $1.99 per year. To get the domain name, click on this button, then click continue, now log in with your Google account, fill in your details. Now here you can see that we're getting the domain for one year at just $2 and we've got a discount of $33. So let's click continue, enter your payment details and click submit. You can see that we have successfully purchased the domain name. Now click continue and you'll be taken to the dashboard. Once you've got the domain, next let's see how you can guide this domain name with our website. To guide this domain name, first we need to export our website's files to GitHub. Now this allows us to store our website's files and from there we can use Netlify to host it and connect it to our custom domain. So to export our website files to GitHub, let's go to Lovable, then click on GitHub and click connect to GitHub. If you already have an account on GitHub, you can enter your login details here or if you don't have one, you can create an account here and click sign in. Now if we click on install and authorize, we will be connected to GitHub. Once you have connected it and now to export your website's files, just click on transfer repository, then choose your account and your website's files will be exported and you will get a link to it here. If we click on the link, you can see all the website's files here. Okay, so now we have successfully exported our website. Once you're done, to connect the domain name with our website, first we need to upload our website files online. To do that, we'll use a website called Netlify. So as I said earlier, Netlify is the place where we are going to host our website for free. So to upload our website files to Netlify, just click the link below this video and it'll take you to Netlify. Now click sign up, then sign up with GitHub. And here you can see your GitHub account. Now just click on authorize Netlify and it'll take you to the Netlify dashboard. Now here you need to import your website's files from GitHub. So just click import from Git, then click on GitHub and click authorize Netlify. Then click install and your website's files will be imported here. Once it is imported, next we have to deploy our project. So just click on project click deploy 
and your project will be deployed. Once it is done, next we have to add a domain to Netlify. So just click here, then enter your domain name which you have just purchased. Click verify and click add domain. And you will be taken to this page. Now to complete connecting our domain to Netlify, we need to get the DNS records and add them to our own DNS page. Once you do this, your website will be connected to your domain name. To get the DNS details, just click here, then click set up Netlify DNS and it will take you to this page. Now click verify, click add domain and click continue. As you can see, we have got the DNS records. Once you've got the DNS records, next you need to add these records to your own domain page where you have purchased your domain. To add the DNS records, let's go to this tab, click edit, then click change name servers, choose this option, now copy and paste the DNS records one by one. Once you add them, click save and that's it. You can see that the DNS records have been successfully added. Once you've added the DNS records, go back to Netlify and click done. Now it will take up to 40 tasks to update and after some time, if we refresh the page, you can see the DNS records have been verified. This means we have successfully connected our domain with our website. So to check it, let's open a new tab and enter our domain name. You can see we have got the portfolio website with our custom domain name. Okay, so that's it guys. This is how you can create your portfolio website using AI. And if you're looking for a more powerful and flexible platform to host your site, then I highly recommend Webspace Kit, a super fast hosting platform that makes launching and building WordPress sites a breeze. With Webspace Kit, you get a free domain, free SSL, with thousands of free themes and plugins. Plus, if you sign up through the link in the description, you'll get a 10% discount on your hosting plan. So if you're looking for a hassle-free way to create and manage a WordPress site, check out Webspace Kit. Plus, if you're running a business and want to create a professional business website straight from your smartphone, then you should check out this video. Okay guys, if you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.